Hello and welcome inside the Mind of Matt and in this video I'm going to be jumping into Fusion 360 and give you a little lesson on how to use text to either emboss or engrave onto your model. If this is something that interests you, well stay tuned for the rest of this video. So in one of my previous videos where I made a gremlin bell, somebody made a comment about how I did this text. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to emboss or engrave text into a model. So let's create a new model and we'll start off and create a Let's go back and create a new component. And the particular comment was made about engraving onto a ring. So let's make a ring. Pardon me while I put my OMGs on. All right, so let's start with a sketch and let's make a ring real quick. I'm gonna sketch it on the front and let's see, we're gonna I'm going to make a line and we're going to call it, I measured my finger and we're going to go 18 and we're going to divide that by 2 for a radius. So next I'm going to make that line a construction line. I'm just making a quick a ring here so let's go with another line. And we'll call it 10 millimeters. All right, and next I'm going to create an arc. Actually, let's go with a, another couple little lines here. And we'll call that one two. We'll call that one two. All right, now we'll create a little arc. Call it three point from there to there. And let's see there. Basic shape of our ring. Now I'll create a revolve. Select that face. And we're gonna revolve it around that axis and we have a ring. All right, so let's create some text now. All right, now we're going to select this And hit the Q button and now I'm going to extrude it in that direction but I'm gonna come over here and select two objects and I'm gonna select that inner ring and I'm gonna make it a new body and I'm gonna hit OK so now we have this new body and it's touching the inner surface. Next, we're going to want to move this just a little bit. Now, if you don't know this trick, I'm going to show you here. Now, if you left click and then bring down, you'll see that type of box. And I end up just selecting what's inside that box. You see there, but if I select left click and pull up and to the left now I'll select all those bodies now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move and we just want to be able to intersect that inner circle so I'm just gonna move it in by 
minus one millimeter. And I'm gonna hit okay. Next, I'm going to split a face. So we've selected the inner face and now the cutting tools or the splitting tool come over here select that and once again left click up and to the left oh that didn't work so actually if you come over here to the bodies and if you notice that body one is the outside body so we want two through ten so if I highlight two, hold my shift button and select all the way down to 10, all those will be selected. Now I have nine splitting tools and I'll hit okay. So next I want to take those bodies and I want to hide them. And if you notice that the inside has got an outline. So next, I want to hit my extrude by hitting my hotkey of E. Actually, this is where I want to hit my Q for push pull or press pull. And then I'm going to select all my surfaces. And then I want to minus 0.5, say, or you could do any. There you have it. You're embossed. You're engraved, excuse me. Now, to emboss it, let's go back and edit that feature. Instead of minus 0.5, let's go with plus 0.5. And now it's embossed. So from here, all you have to do is right click on the component up here, save as an STL, and then bring it into your slicer. So that was just a quick tutorial in Fusion 360 on how to use text to either engrave or emboss in your models. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below if you'd like to see me show you any other tricks in Fusion 360 or anything else. Make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't. Check out all my links down in the description. Share on your social media if you can. And please let those ads play. And once again, thank for all those that support me by using my affiliate links, as well as those who contribute through Patreon. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Happy printing. Be safe, porn.